Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing a bright streak of light with a long tail like a cosmic firework. What would you think? Would you be amazed, curious, or scared? Well, you might have a chance to witness such a spectacle soon, because there is a new visitor in our solar system that may become visible to the naked eye in September. It is a comet, a chunk of ice and dust that orbits the sun and sometimes puts on a dazzling show for us Earthlings. This is not just any ordinary comet. It is a rare and mysterious one that has never been seen before and will never be seen again. Given that an amateur astronomer made the discovery using basic tools, it is also a testament to the strength of human curiosity and passion. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about this new comet its discovery, its orbit, its origin, and its significance for astronomy and science. So stay tuned and get ready to explore the wonders of the cosmos with us. The new comet was discovered on August 13th, 2023, by Hideo Nishimura, a Japanese amateur astronomer who lives in Kakagawa City, Shizuoka Prefecture. Nishimura is not a professional scientist or an employee of any observatory. He is just a hobbyist who loves to observe the sky with his own telescope and camera. Nishimura has been doing this for more than 40 years, and he has discovered several asteroids and comets in the past. This time, he made the discovery of his lifetime. He was scanning the eastern sky before dawn when he noticed a faint, fuzzy object near the constellation Leo. He thought it might be a comet, so he took several pictures of it and sent them to the Minor Planet Center, MPC, an organization that collects and verifies observations of small bodies in the solar system. The MPC confirmed that it was indeed a new comet and gave it the official designation of C-2023 P1 Nishimura after its discoverer. Nishimura was thrilled by his discovery and shared it with his fellow amateur astronomers online. He said that he felt like he had won the lottery and that he hoped his comet would become bright enough for everyone to see and enjoy. But how bright will it be? Well, that is hard to predict because comets are notoriously unpredictable. Their brightness depends on many factors such as their size, shape, composition, activity, distance from the sun and earth, and angle of view. Some comets can become very bright and spectacular, like Comet hale in 1997 or Comet Neowise in 2020. Others can be very dim and disappointing, like Comet Kahutek in 1973 or Comet Ison in 2013. However, the new comet Nishimura is currently about 300 million kilometers away from the Sun, which is roughly twice the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It is moving very fast, at about 70 kilometers per second, or more than 250,000 kilometers per hour, and it is expected to reach its closest point to the Sun, or perihelion, on September 25, 2023, when it will be only about 40 million kilometers away from the Sun, which is roughly one-fourth of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. At that time, it may become as bright as some of the brightest stars in the sky, or even brighter. But there is also a risk that it may not survive its close encounter with the Sun. That is because the intense heat and radiation from the Sun could cause the comet to break apart or evaporate completely. This has happened to many comets before, such as Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994 or Comet Atlas in 2020. So there is no other option except to wait and see what will happen to Comet Nishimura as it approaches the Sun. But in the meantime, we can still try to observe it with our own eyes or with binoculars or telescopes. The best time to look for it is in the early morning before sunrise when it will be visible low in the eastern sky. You can use a star map or an app to help you locate it near the constellations of Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, and Ophiuchus. You can also check out some images or videos of the comet taken by Nishimura or other observers around the world on the internet or on our website at digitaldiscoveries.com. Thank you. One of the most fascinating things about comet Nishimura is its orbit around the sun. Unlike most comets that have elliptical orbits that bring them back to the inner solar system periodically, Comet Nishimura has a hyperbolic orbit, which means that it has enough speed to escape the gravitational pull of the sun and leave the solar system forever. This is very rare and unusual, as only a few comets have been observed to have hyperbolic orbits in the past. This animation shows how the comet came from the outer reaches of the solar system. Passed by the orbit of Jupiter in July 2023, 
and will pass by the orbit of Earth in September 2023 before zooming past the Sun and heading out into interstellar space. The comet's closest approach to Earth will be on September 16, 2023, when it will be about 60 million kilometers away from us, which is roughly 40 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So don't worry. There is no chance of a collision or any danger to our planet. But where did Comet Nishimura come from? And why is it on such a strange orbit? Well, astronomers think that it may have originated from the distant or cloud, a spherical region of icy bodies that surrounds the solar system at a distance of up to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is equal to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. So the Oort cloud is very far away, very cold, and very dark. It is believed to contain trillions of comets that are remnants of the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Sometimes, something can disturb these comets from their original orbits and send them toward the inner solar system. This could be due to passing stars, giant planets, or galactic tides. Gravitational forces exerted by the Milky Way galaxy on the solar system as it orbits around the galactic center. These forces can slightly change the orbits of some Oort cloud comets and make them more elongated or more inclined. If these comets happen to pass close to another star or planet, they can get a gravitational kick that can change their orbits even more dramatically. This could result in either capturing them into elliptical orbits around the Sun or ejecting them into hyperbolic orbits out of the solar system. This is what may have happened to Comet Nishimura. It may have been perturbed by some external force and sent on a long journey toward the Sun. Along the way, it may have encountered another object that gave it an extra boost of speed and pushed it into a hyperbolic orbit. This means that Comet Nishimura is a very rare and special visitor that we will never see again. Comet Nishimura is not only a beautiful sight to behold, but also a treasure trove of secrets for astronomers and scientists who want to study comets in the solar system. So let's keep our eyes on the sky and witness this once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Studying comets like Nishimura gives us invaluable insights into the history of our solar system. Since comets are composed of some of the oldest and most primitive materials, they act as time capsules, preserving clues about the conditions that existed when the Sun and planets were forming billions of years ago. By analyzing the gases, dust, and ice within a comet, scientists can determine its chemical composition and compare it to other known celestial bodies. This can help answer fundamental questions about how water and organic molecules, the building blocks of life, were delivered to Earth and potentially to other planets. The Future of Comet Exploration While we may never see Comet Nishimura again, there are exciting upcoming missions designed to study comets in more detail. NASA's Comet Interceptor mission, planned for launch in the late 2020s, aims to visit a pristine, long-period comet like Nishimura. Unlike previous missions that targeted comets that had already passed through the inner solar system multiple times, Comet Interceptor will study an object that has never been close to the Sun before. Additionally, the ESA's aerial mission and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will continue observing comets from space, helping astronomers refine their models of cometary behavior, composition, and origins. What you can do to observe Comet Nishimura If you want to witness this cosmic visitor before it vanishes forever, make sure to check observation guides and updates from our channel Digital Discoveries. Here are some key tips to increase your chances of spotting it. Find a dark location. Avoid light pollution from cities and streetlights. Rural areas or high-altitude spots will give you the best view. Use binoculars or a small telescope. While the comet might be visible to the naked eye under ideal conditions, optical aids will reveal more details, such as its tail structure. Check the best viewing times. The comet will be most visible just before dawn in the eastern sky. Look near the constellations Leo and Virgo as it moves across the sky. Capture the moment. If you have a DSLR camera or a smartphone with a long exposure setting, try photographing the comet. Even amateur astrophotographers can take stunning shots. Final thoughts. Comet Nishimura is a once-in-a-lifetime event, a fleeting visitor from the far reaches of the solar system that reminds us of the vastness and mystery of space. 
Whether you're an experienced astronomer or simply someone who loves looking up at the night sky, this is a rare opportunity to witness something truly extraordinary. Stay tuned for more updates on Nishimura and other cosmic wonders, only on Digital Discoveries. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating space content.